So when we look at unit conversion, we're essentially doing rate analysis or unit analysis. So we have these conversion rates or conversion ratios. For example, one ounce is 20, about 28 grams, one pound is about 454 grams, etc. So there's two ways, we're, main ways we're going to look at doing this. We're going to do either a proportional equation where we can have an equivalent fraction proportion and use our times and divide between those, those components in the proportional equation, or we can use unit analysis. So one way to do this is using a proportional equation. We can say that we want to convert pounds to grams. So we want to comp compare some unknown number of grams to 29 pounds, and we make that equivalent to a proportion that is already set. So in this case here, we want pounds and grams. So we're going to go 450, we're going to round that to 454 grams to one pound. Okay, and then we're going to use our, our proportion to solve this relationship. So using a calculator here, getting a calculator. We can use our multiplier. Essentially, we're going to go from bottom to top. Okay, we can say that this times by 454. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to times by 454. Okay, so we go 29 pounds times 454. And that gives us 13,166 grams. Okay, so x is equal to 13,166 grams. So that's one way we can do it. The unit analysis is another way we're going to do this. Okay, and we're going to first start off with 29 pounds. And we're going to multiply by that rate. Now that rate, we just need to make sure that when we do the rate, we want to cancel the pounds out. So we need to have this times pounds here, divide by pounds here. Those cancel out. And then we have the 454 grams. And we can see that that's our multiplier. Okay, so it looks very consistent. So we end up with 29 pounds times 454 grams. And we get the same thing. And notice that our units work out to be grams. Okay, because that's the units that's left over. Okay, so this is a rate analysis or unit analysis. Okay, so same thing here. We can convert to ounces. We can say an unknown number of ounces to 400 grams. And the conversion rate is we'll use 28.3. So we'll go 28.3. Oops, make sure we have it in the right order. One ounce equals 28.3 grams. Okay, so when we use this multiplier, so in this case, our multiplier, that's our unit rate, so that's our multiplier. So we're going to go in the opposite direction, so we're going to divide by that, so we get 28.3. Okay, so 400 divided by 28.3. We end up with 400, oops, let me just try that again, 400, and then we're going to divide by 28.3, we get 14.13 ounces, okay, so x equals 14.13 ounces, and we could do the same thing here by starting with our 400 grams, okay, we're going to use our conversion rate, ounces and grams, Make sure that the grams are in the denominator. Okay, so we end up with 28.3 grams for one ounce. The grams cancel out. Okay, so I just need to make sure the times cancels the divide. And we end up with 400 divide, times 1 divided by 28.3, which is 14.13 ounces. Okay, so it's the same thing. So you can see how these things are connected, but we want to start using this second method more because it's a bit more efficient way to solve these types of problems.